What's up, guys, and welcome to your App Store update for Friday, March 22nd. I'm Justin. Mike. I'm Anthony. Hi. You're back. I am. Yeah. You, you made it back. You didn't have to sit on like that. No, no, no. Let's. I'm good where I'm sitting. <laughs> I'm could, happy. Sitting could. close to the monitor. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So uh, the App Store update compiles all the game price drops, updates, launches, you know, for any given day. We're doing Friday. You usually get some spillover from Thursday, which is always the big day. Um, we do have a couple game debuts today. Uh, the m one that's most exciting to me oh is my God. Go Up 2. Does it have goat screaming in it? It does not have goat screaming in it. Because <laughs> that's the new internet hotness. So this is a Jeff Mentor game, and if you don't know Jeff Mentor, you know he made sort of classic arcade games. I think he made Centipede and like you know some really some of the most retro like old school games you've ever. I'm seen. getting a classic arcade vibe off this. Whoa! But now he just makes these bizarre like Goat Up was his most successful game that he made on the App Store. They don't make any sense. They're crazy. There's words at the bottom that I don't understand. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Matriculating fish squadron. Yeah. Right? I don't know why those words are on. Also, it keeps changing your status on the bottom from peckish to rumbling. Yeah, you're eating food. You have to eat food. Okay. And so I was peckish, and now I'm rumbling, and now I'm content. And if it keeps going up, I think Matriculating Fish Squadron is the name of the level. Okay, okay. And I also know... Let me try to go back to a different stage. I don't even know how to pause. <laughs> I like that it says buck. Okay, let me let me try to go back to a different stage. That makes maybe a little bit more sense. This is the strangest game I think I've seen in a long time. I mean, uh, people yeah. probably, if you're a console gamer or you've played a lot of console games, you probably know him best for Space Draft these days. Yeah, like he that's made, the he game that Space Draft a lot of people talked about for a while. On consoles, I think it's on Steam. So here's a little bit more normal level. <laughs> more normal is real. Okay, random so Pac-Man ghosts. What you do is you collect you collect these items and you spend an item each time you jump. Basically. Your double jump is like the goat farting? Yeah, the goat farts. And you can fart on the ghost, the Pac-Man ghost. Hup. Also, it's funny how he intentionally puts like a really, really uh, grating sound effects into this. That are also stolen from old arcade games. Yeah, but I'm just saying like, listen to the audio. Yeah, for sure. Oh, wow. Um... So that's the way the basic gameplay works, is you collect these items in the level. Why does it say this vapid pancake on the bottom? I think that's the name of the level. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, just like the last one. These levels are just very bizarrely named. Yeah, I, and, and if you ever look at, if you ever see a picture of Jeff Minter, um, look him up on Wikipedia. He looks like a crazy He looks person. like a wizard. Yeah, he I think he's a video game wizard. I think he is a video game wizard. I love that, like... <laughs> I love that this is just what he does now. This is his life, is he makes these iPhone games. Well, I hope he has success, because... It's kind of cool to see someone that does something so bizarre. So all of his games have a huge following. Not huge, but, you know, they have a dedicated... It's like a cult following, yeah. Love them. yeah. And uh, Go Up 2 just launched. That's... I don't know that I'm going to play I want to know if there was a Go Up 1. There was. Yeah, there was. Okay. I yeah, for sure. I, just, I wasn't sure if, like, in his kookiness, he was just like, I'm going to call it Go Up 2 just because, right? You know? Um, Go Up 2 is $4, and it's universal. Okay. Uh, today's other new game is uh, Exceed RPG. Um, it was on Android first, and now it's out on the App Store. And, Ark uh, of the Ages. It's called Ark of the Ages. It's one ninety nine. It's also universal. Um, I don't really know that much about this game. Like, I, I, you know, I don't know how it works. It's RPGs got some funky, are funky, like poppy blues music over yeah. this. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, I don't really know about the soundtrack. I guess I'm accepting quests again. Sorry, I, I didn't get a chance to like play this one out too much. Kill three boars. Kill three goblins. Okay, we've done some quests. We can go to the bar. That's always an RPG staple. It's weird that, uh, like, there isn't... Like, where's, like, the, the character art of the person that comes up and at least, like, pops up their face and they're like, hey, nice to meet you, and it's, like, a really nice hand-drawn sprite. Well, also, why is the art, like... It's like not blurry? very high-res. Yeah, it is yeah. kind of blurry. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ugh. Okay. They let us play for literally one <laughs> second, Anthony. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. stop it, stop it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this looks, I'm going to be honest, this looks a little rough. This does look, this is very rough so far. So you wander around in first person. Flick the screen to attack. Touch your finger to guard. What do I touch? What touch, do I touch? Touch two fingers to guard. Oh, well, that's kind of cool, actually. Touch two fingers to guard. Okay, and then you flick to attack. Touch the spark at the bottom right to give big damage. Give big damage. <laughs> oh, whoa. Yeah, you did big damage to that pig. Tough I meat. I, I mean, it seems. No, I mean, I'm not. So, uh, you know, people that have been this watching. This first person wandering is, is pretty pretty brutal, in my opinion. 
I'm more impressed with this, like, sort of flick, you know, sort of action battle system than I expected. I'm enjoying holding two fingers to block. Sure. I think, I think, uh, yeah. I almost feel like it almost, like a Legend of Zelda game or something is what it kind of reminds me of, but the moving around is really brutal. No, I mean, obviously this is not the world's most polished game you've ever Like, I don't seen. even feel like he's walking. He's just kind of sliding. Yeah, that's true. That's all very true. It's weird that you have this low-res, like, art, like, that town art was, like, all blurry, but then his character model is, like, really sharp, actually. I feel like instead of a virtual stick, they could have just had one drag your finger around to kind of move to where you need to go to, like... Other ga games, like, what was that third-person adventure game that people did compare to Legend of Zelda? Horn. Horn, yeah. Like, Horn showed you that you could just move by touching and stuff, and it worked really well. For sure. Um, I, you know, if that looked appealing to you, I, I will probably... Okay, so based on that sort of 90 seconds, I like that battle system enough sure, that I, I'm I willing mean, to play the game a little bit more. You know, people that like JRPGs and stuff, so that may be way more up their alley. Yeah, for sure. Um, um, that was all of today's sort of game debuts. Those are the two games that are out today. We also have a handful of price drops. Ski Ball 2... Um, I, you know, come on. I, How it, can there be a two? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there. Okay, and I have to do a skee ball tutorial. Well, how, we all know how to play skee ball. Yeah, that's really. Strange. I mean, granted, like, for like, you know, two minutes in a in a bar or at an arcade, we've all loved playing skee ball. No yeah. doubt about it, right? But okay, I don't. I'm, th but the not... question is, the question is, can you get tickets to spend on uh? really crappy prizes that, you know, like, you'd be sad if your dad brought you home. <laughs> like, why don't you love me anymore? Oh, it's the spider ring. That's what you always get. Okay. That yeah, was... you got that if you were a chump. But there was always, like, the, uh, you know, Nintendo 64 up in the window that you were, like, 30,000 tickets, and it was like, you're never going to get that. <laughs> so I guess this game will allow you to uh, relive all the disappointment and shame you felt as a little kid when your dad was like, let's see how good you can do, and you can't break 100 points. You do get prizes, by the way. Look. I don't understand what the point is, I guess. A psychedelic ball. Wow, you can really just buy crap. Yeah, it is kind of crap, isn't it? Um, Ski Ball 2 is free. Okay, well, at least it's free. Uh, I still wouldn't play it. The Penny Arcade uh, Gamers vs. Evil. This is their card game. Um, this is a lot like... Anthony, have you ever played Dominion? Um, Dominion, Dominion. It's a board game. I mean, it's not a video game. Yeah. It's a physical board game. I don't I don't understand board games. So, this is this is the penny arcade version of Dominion. Um I, you know, the rules are too complicated for me to kind of try to explain it here, but if you've played Dominion, basically you start with a very basic deck of like 10 and, cards and, and you then you build it up over time. Yeah, and then you build it up over time. It's already speaking my language. I like that. Yeah, so, it's the penny arcade deck building game. Um, okay. it's normally 5 bucks. It's on sale for a dollar. Okay. Yeah, my current deck builder favorite on iOS is Ascension. It's a obviously. lot like Ascension. Okay, I guess cool. I didn't uh, Yeah, I've played Ascension too. I'm just more used to uh, it, I mean, I'm sure certain people love that just because it has like the uh, iconic penny arcade humor and in jokes and stuff. Yeah, it absolutely does. The whole thing, I mean, it's actually all in jokes. Like if you're not a penny arcade fan, it will not be accessible to so this, you. So this this Oh man, this is free right now? Yeah, definitely. I actually think the Death Rally's been out for a couple years. But yeah, I, I've always been really Im and it's out on PC now too, I think, but it, I've always been really impressed that the that the uh, virtual stick controls worked as well as they did in this game. Um, that looks like George Lucas, too, that picture. I think it does. Is that <laughs> intentional? It's probably intentional. Um, this intro is all different than the last time I played this game. Yeah, me too. This so, is made by Remedy. I know. This is, is if you don't know them, this is the this is the Alan Wake team. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, very very different than uh you know Alan Wake and obviously American Nightmare. Um, I don't understand how to escape the cops, Anthony. I'm I think, to be honest with you. This like action intro. I think I think you're supposed to lose, right? Because oh, don't you don't lose? you then you get captured. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe. And then once you're captured, then it's like now you're part of the mm. death rally. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, it's all coming back to me now. This is the only thing I remember about this game. But uh, yeah, you you get a car and you build it up over time with the money you earn, um, and then obviously it has a little bit like. Don't think this isn't like Twisted Metal because it's still very much a race. You know, yeah. it's not a death match necessarily, but shooting people and stuff is how you get ahead of them in a race and kind of overtake them. Yeah, not for a while, but free. Why not? That game's awesome. It's from the perspective of RC Pro Am. Yeah, without the without the wheel though. Right. That yeah. you used to try and steer that with in the arcade. Um, well, I had it on the NES. Oh. Um, Fancy. All the Metal Slug games are half off, so they're normally four bucks and they're two bucks today. Um, this is Metal Slug X, I think. Metal Slug X was the one that came out for PlayStation 1. Yeah, is this a remake of Metal Slug 2? I f always forget that, but I really yeah. did. I remember when this came out on PS1, I went out and bought it. It was late in the PS PlayStation's life cycle, too, I believe. 
I mean, so if you're an absolute purist, these touch controls are going to drive you crazy. Sure. I think as far as touch controls go, they're pretty okay. Like, they're all right. You yeah, know, and I, I, a lot of times with virtual sticks, I still use uh, one of those uh, the uh, sticks you can stick to the screen if yeah. you who makes them. But I, I'm still all about those. Yeah, the fling Fling, sticks, yeah. Right? Like, I know those seem like a gimmick, but they're totally legit if you play a lot of games. Sure, yeah. So, um... I, you know, Metal Slug has such great pixel art, such great everything. I mean, these are not sort of the best way to play these games, but, you know, two bucks if you had your eye on any of them. Pick them up now. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on Sonic CD. Sega seems to, this game normally costs four ninety nine. And wow. They, and they drop it to 99 cents all the time. Okay. And we it, it was just 99 cents last week, and they bumped it back up to four ninety nine. And now it's back to 99 cents. Probably because they're like, look how much more we sold when it was 99 cents. It yeah. was kind of worth it. For sure. What I like about this is Sega CD was just made by a dude. He was proving to Sega that like you could do Sonic games better on mobile than like they'd been doing them. And rather than shutting them down, Sega just partnered with them. And that's and that guy, Christian Whitehead, who yeah. it gives credit to at the beginning. That's yeah. cool. And his version ended up becoming the official version. So... Um, it's just a lot faster paced and really smooth than like Sega's other stuff. Like really sharp. The touch controls are really nice. Um, it's probably because they realized all you really need is a forward and a back button on this game and a jump button. Yeah. And Sonic CD is my personal favorite Sonic game. You it's are not alone in that. And it's funny because, right? Because who had a Sega CD back in the day? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like I had one and this was like the saving... Like I owned a Sega CD and it was like, oh man, it's a good thing Sonic CD came out because the console is a mess yeah i i used to i remember when it first came out i was such a nerd i went to my video store and uh rented it <laughs> so that i could try sewer shark because i was so impressed with the fmvs that I yeah had. me too i tried to convince myself that sewer, sewer shark was a good game um that's it for today we do have a special game that we yeah, want to talk about so again if you if you used to follow we used to have an editor here at ig named nick colin who did a lot of uh of our MMO coverage, and he, he would do. He would do if you if there was a trashy MMO. Yeah, he was probably the one playing. And it. so he left, and he he uh, went back to Australia, and he joined a little Australian indie development team to make Unstoppable, which you're seeing here. Um, so Unstoppable is kind of like an endless runner, except the whole point of it is that you are the Unstoppable, and you can lay down these various other little robots that will assist you in getting to where you need to go. So first, you know, right now Justin's very early, so he just has these little guys that help you jump. Eventually, you'll get like guys that look like rams that'll push you over gaps. And here's here's the ram. So yeah. yeah, I mean that's basically how it works. Is uh, you know, and you've played this more than me, Anthony, but you drag the robot onto the screen like where he needs to go exactly. to get him, you know, to get him through the stage because he's not stopping. He's no, the he's not. He's the unstoppable. Oh. Yeah. See, I thought oh. that, that was how you did it too. It has to be right above it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's got really like adorable art and. And it's I know free. I know it's like Nick's first game that he's worked on, so he's really passionate about it. So I just wanted to give it a shout out, and it is free. That's the whole thing. It's doing really well in China, as I understand <laughs> it. But a lot of people it hasn't got very much visibility here in the states and abroad, in Australia and whatnot. So um, give it a download. I mean, my sort of snap judgment is that you know, Nick, if you're watching this, I'd say it's a little bit like slow paced. Yeah. Like I think the idea is good. I like the it idea of like dragging these, you know, dragging your little guys over. Um, yeah, I will say that before the end. Uh, of the game, it gets way more intense. Okay. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah, that was just the very, very first level we did. Exactly. So, so it, it gets a lot. It gets a lot crazier. But obviously, it's ad-driven. So. Oh, look at that. Um, yeah, Nick. Nick, I think did all like <laughs> all the little quotes and stuff that go in it. Yeah, like that. You know. Yeah. yeah just the overall majority. Little little bits of Nick's humor if you ever used to remember the stuff he'd write for us. Yeah. But yeah, unstoppable. Check it out. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, everybody at home. This has been your App Store update for Friday, March 22nd. Um, you know, as always, we're looking for ways to improve the show. So, you know, leave a note in the comments below um, on YouTube or on IGN and let us know how you're enjoying these App Store updates. For all the hottest news on, on, you know, on these games and all the hottest mobile games, you can keep it locked to IGN.